This is the 2016 Soma Rush, and in the words of its owner, not too flashy but a bomb-proof mid-range machine. But in my eyes, a bike doesn't have to be flashy or insanely expensive to be timelessly beautiful, and this 2016 Soma Rush is a prime example that nailing the fundamentals of building a bike can take your build far and make for a clean, minimal machine that's sure to warrant a closer look, all without screaming for attention. For steel bikes that weigh well under 20 pounds or 9 kilograms that you can customize to be your dream bike right out of the box, consider checking out Wabi Cycles linked at the top of the description. The Soma Rush made its debut way back in 2003, which was about 100 years ago in fixie years and it hasn't changed a whole lot since then. But when you knock the fundamentals out of the park with clean styling, traditional track geometry, and zippy steel tubing, you don't have to make pointless innovations. Soma has stood their ground and stuck with a design that works even up to present day, only adding a few modifications to the Rush and occasionally giving it a new colorway every few years to keep it fresh. Speaking of fresh, this 2016 Rush in dark grey sparkle is fresher than a $6 cucumber from Whole Foods. The frame set is complete with touches of craftsmanship from the Japanese style Sushiro Tower head badge, proudly representing SF, black logo panel on the down tube bookended by complementary stripes to add dimension and a touch of pop, a straight blade lugged threaded fork to blend classic and modern inspiration, and my favorite part of this frame set, the side tack seat stays and S-Bend chain stays that segment the front and rear of the frame and gently invite you to walk around the bike and appreciate it from different angles. The frame is built with double-butted Tongue Prestige, while the fork is made with Tongue Infinity tubing, complete with Tongue stamped track ends to keep the ride quality smooth yet agile. To prevent any accidental dents in the event the rider forgets that their frame set doesn't have clearance for bar spins, we have a Scout frame shield. And to keep the engine running smoothly on longer rides, we have a single Velo Orange Modern East bottle cage. To extend the frame's classic Japanese inspiration onto the spec, we have the Nitto B260 AA risers sheathed in Yoshida Champ best grips, attached to a mean but refined 100mm negative 58 degree Nitto Jaguar stem. NJS approved, of course. You don't need to slam the stem when the stem can slam you. For the saddle, we have the ever-reliably luxurious Brooks Cambium C17 with a perineum cutout for perhaps extra comfort, but definitely extra weight savings. That's a big brain move right there. The saddle sits above perhaps the second strongest seat post in the world, the Nitto Crystal Fellow thus completing the Nitto kit and making me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Downwards of the pedals we have the ever popular MKS Sylvan tracks, paired with MKS NJS toe clips. The pedals are connected to Mike Primato track cranks in matching soft silver sheen, paired with a 47 tooth Alter SC chain ring, making for a mildly original combo that works beautifully. The cog is a slick, chrome-plated CNC'd 16-tooth Soma track cog that feels especially appropriate on this frame, secured with a Dura-Ace lock ring. And the drivetrain runs smoothly with a no-frills but dependable KMC Z410 chain. The wheels are the classic Mavic Open Pros, laced to sealed bearing formula hubs and 32-spoke to keep the wheelset durable enough, light enough, and run smoothly enough all while looking dapper enough. And where the rubber meets the road, we'll find a pair of specialized Espoir Sport tires in 30C. This summer rush is a straight shooting, no-nonsense build that's beautiful in its own right. It's a clean, mid-range build that shows you don't need height parts that flaunt how expensive your bike is and acts as a signpost to bike thieves, to have a good looking bike that anyone would be excited to ride. All you need is to keep the build simple, unified, and tidy to make an attractive but understated bike. Thanks to Colin Murphy for sending in his video files of his Soma Rush so we could do a proper bike check. And also, it was Colin's birthday yesterday, so be sure to drop some happy birthdays in the comments to keep the good vibes going. And if you want to have your bike featured on my channel in a bike check just like this one, you can send me your video files and I'll make it. You can find the details on how to do that below the like button. 
and if we get enough of these bike check submissions, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing these about once a week to just supplement the other stuff I'm making. And if you like the Soma Rush in this video, feel free to check out my unboxing and review of the 2019 Soma Rush. And Fixie Famous shout out to Stan Strong 108, Ryan Witt, Anthony Deza, and Eric Avalo for helping to make these fixed gear videos possible through their support over on Patreon.